Now we're going to explain what the voltage test uh, does in a CDT240. The voltage test basically it tests uh, the the time it took uh, for the output waveform to reach a certain voltage level, and it's uh, pretty simple to do. Just go to Edit Memory. We're going to edit memory one. We're going to trigger on positive peak. We're going to select the voltage test. And right now we have it at 30 volts. So we're going to see how long it takes the waveform to reach the 30 volts. And we're going to do it from line to ground. Right now we're using our calibration box uh, for this purpose. So we have connected from line to ground. And we have the, an oscilloscope connected to the 101 just to see the waveform. And let's go and proceed to do the test. Uh, to do the test, you just press the test button. It will arm the CDT240. As you can see, it will start outputting uh, the waveform at the terminals. And once you press the test button, it will show you the results. It says that at 1.668 seconds, you reach 29.7 volts. So let's try that again and look at the swell scope. This is the oscilloscope. We're going to trigger the test and stop the waveform. Now it says at 1.659 seconds we have 29.7 volts using the oscilloscope. Let's go to 1.6, As you can see, the oscilloscope doesn't reach that number. just right about there and as you can see it goes from 29 to 30 we don't have any middle ground so it's pretty accurate it says 29 volts either 29 volts or 30 volts works for us at 29.7 volts on the CDT240. So it uh, pretty much is really accurate. Now uh, on, this, on the next video we're going to explain what the delay test is and what a delay test does.